You ought not to kill him. I hit him in the leg. Then he is playing games, Pepito. <laughs> Bastardos! Go tell your mistress to stop sending pistoleros searching for me as if she doesn't value their hides. And don't let me see you again. Otherwise, Miguel, I'll blow your brains out. Now get back on your horse! I need water. Need water. Please. You're hungry, huh? Yes, I haven't eaten anything since I left Oaxaca. I like it living here. Some bandits, they attacked me and uh, my horse is very tired. I was headed towards... I don't want to know. Relax, stranger. It's only my cow. She's hungry. Mother. What's your name? Raphael. Let me have a look at that wrist of yours. your mouth and bite down hard. You've had this spread here a while, huh? About 12 years. Been places before. All over. My mother and me used to wander from one place to another. That better? Gracias, Sebastian. How do you know my name? Oh, you see, I once knew a man who looked like you. His name was Sebastian. <laughs> you want, I'll tell you his story tomorrow.
You can sleep here. I'll be upstairs. Well, good night. Come on, get up. It's time to go home. I only just Don't make trouble, Mr. Stanton. Just well, get I'll out of here. Drink. Believe me, you are lucky I have to take you back alive, amigo. <laughs> <laughs> me again, amigo. So why do you not shoot my brains out like you said you would? Get him out of here. Put him down. Get out. Kill him, Sebastian, or he'll kill you. Don't you see that? Get out of here. my horse. It was a good exchange. Mine was tired. I didn't want to complicate everything. I didn't want to cause you trouble. You still haven't told me that story. Let's go.
Put this on it. It's snake grease. My mother made it. She wasn't your mother at all. Your real mother lives in Oaxaca with the man who killed your father. Your father fought in the war. He came back to the hacienda in 66. Senora, I have just seen him as he was arriving at the Plaza de Oaxaca. Well, this is certainly a happy day for us. And to welcome my husband, let us hold the fiesta. There. Now put the other arm in. That's it. Your father will hardly recognize his children. Isabella is already a pretty senorita, and he'll think you're quite grown up, Sebastian. Rafael says you have evil powers and cast spells. Your father is going to be so proud of you. My angel. Juan, welcome to your home.
Anna, will you hand me my shirt, please? Gracias. And my coat. I can't find it, Juan. Well, it's strange. It was on the chair, wasn't it? chance you have, you can spread the word that it was the French who raided the Hacienda. Hmm. Very well. Anna. What happened to the children? They were in here asleep. Thomas, where are they? 
probably hiding. We'll find him. Oh, Thomas, it was terrible. Everything went as we had planned it. And now your mother and, and Thomas, they don't see each other too much. Sebastian, don't you know me? We used to play games together. I'm Raphael, Sebastian. You and I, we were friends. My sister. She lives in Oaxaca. I was in love with her. And to keep her from me, they forced her to marry a storekeeper. I turned Mexico inside out trying to find you. I'd been hunted like a prairie dog. Then when I realized it was you in that cabin, I didn't have the courage to explain. And I am sorry now I did find you. You afraid? A little afraid. If you know who killed my father, why haven't they killed you? That is another story. You can pay me back later. We'll spread up across the border. Oaxaca's a long way off. You might need another horse. I'll expect you in Juarez by tomorrow. All is vanity, saith the preacher. What profit to the man? That generation goes and another comes. And the earth goes on forever. Yea, though I walk through the shadow of the valley. Help me. Who shot him? I don't know. Don't be a hero. No, I'll tell you, wait. I never saw him before. Two young ones, he rode off into the hills. Thank you.
Thank you, Lupin. My pleasure, Senor. The next dance will be your reward. It will be an honor. I assure you, all the girls will be looking at me with envy. I am truly fortunate, Senora. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you have any news? Si, sí, Senora. Follow me. doing here? Uh, I'm waiting for... Get out. You should not have come back. It's the last time I'll tell you. Bring me Raphael alive. Otherwise, your life is worth nothing. I understand, Senora. I will personally bring you the both of them. Both? Si, sí, senora. The one who killed Chico was not Rafael. Find him, Francisco. Take all the men you need. I don't care what you have to do. But find him. Your caprices have already cost us too much, Anna. And now it's enough. You get out. If we had not let the wretch live years ago, we would be free now. No more bloodshed, Thomas. Ever again. It's not any remorse that torments you. Of that you would be incapable. You are afraid, Anna. Yes, fear has caused this vendetta. It's nothing to do with you. And you'd never understand. You know, you didn't talk like that at one time. It's easy to surmise, although I never thought it could happen, that you used me only to kill your husband. You're nothing but a cheap prostitute, Anna. <coughs> Be careful, Anna. Don't try to push me. Time to go now, Isabella. It is very late, and you look tired. Please. Come on.
Amigo. You have the prettiest wife in the village, you know. <laughs> uh, she is wasted on a husband like you. She is a man's woman. <laughs> what do you want? Nothing, friend. It appears Raphael is riding this way. And if he reaches here, it is very possible that you will see him before we do. In which case, you will tell me where he is. I'd call that a wise thing to do. You understand? Vámonos! Isabella. What are you going to do? Uh, Isabella, I would like to move away. Maybe we can find peace somewhere away from Oaxaca. I Isabella, you are married to me. I know it was not meant to be like that. And forgive me for not having had the strength to refuse, but I hope that you would learn to love me. I have tried to make you happy all these years. Please, Isabella, maybe away from here. Ignacio, I'm sorry. You see why the murderer of my father's here. I cannot leave this place. Hey, I use your money to buy me a horse. <laughs> hey, amigo, what do you think about these, huh? I got it with what was left over. Hey, you don't look bad at all. I thought you might need some more water, senor. My name is Elisa. If you ever want anything at all, I'll be around. And so if you get lonely tonight, it would be a pleasure for me to keep you company. You will remember my name, senor. Yeah. It gets very cold at night. Elisa. Go and ask the owner if he has another room free for me. Oh, of course, senor. There's one right next to mine. What's wrong, Raphael? I'm going to take a walk. Senor. Benvenito Zaguarez. Have you seen my blankets? They come from the mountains of Peru. It is the best llama skin, and woven by virgins, and blessed in the grotto of the Madonna of Guadalupe. Once you touch it, you will not want to put it down, senor. Hey, senor. Drink, amigo. Order, I'll take care of it. 
Would you like me, no? Senor, he is upstairs. Third room to the left. Gracias, senor. Muchas gracias. Senor, it is late. Why can't you stay a while longer? I cannot. I heard noises outside. And I should not even be here. Put him on his horse. Andale! Help me, Father, help me. Calm yourself, my daughter, and tell me, what is wrong? Sebastian is alive. He's coming back. Raphael, the servant who was in love with Isabella, when we knew that she loved him, Thomas punished him atrociously. I saved his life. I couldn't stand any more bloodshed in the house. Continue, Anna. Raphael's been looking for Sebastian for years. And now he's found him. How can you know that? One day 
he will cross the threshold of my house. He will call me. He will look for me. Isn't the hate of Isabella's enough? Oh, please. Help me to prevent his hate, for God's sake. In two days, it will be the anniversary of the death of your husband. Is that not true? Yes. I will pray for his memory. And I will ask our Lord for his help and his mercy, so that the peace of God will help you to be filled with love. That is all I can do. Thank you, Father. Alto! You two right to Oxac and one Senor Thomas. Vaya! Vamanos! I don't like to use violence, but it was the only way I could get to speak to you. You can't stay in Oaxaca. Why not? For years, your presence here has poisoned my life with your mother. It's gone far enough. You can kill me for all I care. It cannot gain you the love of my mother. Hmm. There have been and there are men besides you. And there will be always, as long as she can put up with those awful animals she attracts. Because my mother has no virtue. She's become addicted to her desires. It was nothing more than lust that made her your accomplice. You are just blind to the truth. Buenas tardes, senores. This way you are welcome. <laughs> Pasa, pasa. I give you a nice quiet room, huh? <laughs> Bienvenido, This is my granddaughter. This is a nice quiet room. This way, senor. <laughs> Move.
you will not be disturbed in here. Over on the bed. Go on, eh? We want some wine and uh, have the girl bring it and close up for the night. Is something not right, viejo? No, no, nothing, senor. Then stop the silly gawking. Si, si, senor, I'll do it. Some wine and close up for the night. Melina, hey, want some wine? You take it to them, eh? Hey, it is time to close. Off you go, hurry. Come, Miguel, Paco, we're closing, didn't you hear? Go home. Senor, senor, go home now, por favor. Hey, old man, get us something to eat, too, eh? Senor, you can take the bottle, but please go home now. What is that man doing here? Yeah, but he must be, be drunk. Come on, senor, it is late. <laughs> I'm not finished, old man. I see. Hey, what is that? Uh, oh. Very nice, senor. Come back inside. safer for you. I have made you regret you were born a man. All that remains to boast of is your muscles. But now that is not for long. Bastados! <laughs> you will be happy with me. I am a real man, Chiquita. <laughs> He doesn't let you meet up with me another time. If not, that time will be the last.
Senora, I would like to... I would like to go along with you. I can take care of my daughter myself. Give me a bottle of tequila. I'd be up, hombre. I'd get my usual bottle. I said, hurry up. Wait a moment. I, I need two bottles, not one. You're too late, old man. We're all closed up this afternoon. Are you sure it is late? In the plaza, the sun is up. It means it is early. Senor. I said it's late. Maybe it is the moon. We'll have to go take a closer look. Ignacio, you're too late. You are all closed up because the sun is really the moon. That, that is what your new assistant said. Come back later, Paco. I see. Hey, it is already later. Senor, what can I do for you? I'm a friend of Rafael's. Where's Isabella? Let's go in the back. Anna, I didn't expect you. Why didn't you let me know you were coming? Where is Isabella? Isabella? Why don't we go inside? We have many things we have to talk about. Conley. I asked you where she was, Thomas. Hey, you! Come with us. Bring the girl here. Thomas, I've been resting. Excuse me for looking so terrible for you. But I was so very tired. You won't let me alone again, will you? Mm? It isn't what you think. It isn't true, so help me, it isn't true. She's made all this up. I've never touched her. For, for God's sake, Anna, believe me.
Get after the little slut. I want her. Go on now. Get after her. Go! of Raphael's. I made you a promise once. I kept it. Your brother's near the gravestone. Sebastian. Help me to catch his murderers. I was there on the night they killed him. Revenge must be taken. Isabella. It was Mother and Thomas who killed him. Swear you killed him, Sebastian. Swear it. <laughs> Does he still bother you, Anna? In it are 5,000 pesos, and the papers to the Hacienda in your name. It's the price I'm offering for your silence. Now get out. Get out of my house. Senor Tomas, Senor Ignacio would like to speak to the Senora. Then let him in. I don't want to see anyone. Forgive me, Excellency, in town there is a man talking of Sebastian, the son of General Carrasco. Don't be a fool, Ignacio. Everybody knows that Sebastian is dead. I have spoken with him, Excellency, and I am convinced that he is telling the truth. Where is this man? At my house.
He's haunted me too long. Go, Sebastian. He has bad news of Sebastian. So you're the stranger? Yeah. Well, then speak up. Well, I had a friend who said he was the son of a very famous general. And when he was sad, he spoke of this house. He spoke of you, ma'am. He said you were his mother. Where is your friend now? What is his name? He's dead. His name was Sebastian? All right, stranger. We thank you for the news. Come back tomorrow and I'll pay you for your trouble. Just a minute. Do you remember this? You don't recognize it? What's this your idea? Leave her alone. Sebastian, he killed your father. Yes, I saw him do it. He's the one. <laughs> Sebastian, 
Don't go near her. I saw it happen. I watched you that night. He was bleeding from where Thomas had stabbed him. He called out for you, Sebastian. And she shot him. You tell him the truth. I saw it. <laughs> you know it's the truth. Tell him, Mother. Tell the truth. I, I beg you. Don't call me that. Stop this lying. The same blood in my body, the same blood in yours. Mother, can't you stop lying and tell the truth? Mother. Mother. Forgive me, Isabella. And you too, Sebastian. I am not your mother. No. It isn't true, is it, Mother? You... You are our mother. Tell me it isn't true. Tell me. Isabella! Isabella! <laughs> 